Welcome to this video where I'm going to be explaining how to change an image once it is clicked. So let's get started. Start off by getting the two images you want. So before I was trying to get this hand, which now I have, but at first it was a different format. So when you add it into Unity, when you drag it in, try and make it a PNG and that will make it easier for you. Now, when you first add the two images, I already have them as sprite, 2D, and UI automatically. However, sometimes it'll be at default um, or uh, anything else, so make sure to change it to sprite. Both of these images need to be sprites. So if you haven't done that, that's the first step. Make sure it's a sprite. Next, you need to create the canvas for your image. So you can do that by right-clicking, going down to UI, and selecting canvas. Then when we get our canvas, we're going to scale it, scale the screen size. And then now we can add our images. So you can do that by clicking on the canvas, right clicking, and UI, then image. So we have our image here, and this is what we're going to want to click, and then eventually turn to something else. Now let's say we want our heart to turn into a thumbs up. Now it, technically we're not changing the image we're just changing the sprite of the image so the source image is a sprite and that's what controls this so really i could just change and add a new sprite as the source image and that is what's going to change it it's technically not a different image we are just technically changing the sprite and that's going to be very important in a second so right now we have our heart sprite and we added that to the source image which is the sprite now we're going to add a component and it's going to be called an event trigger. And so an event trigger is pretty much what it sounds. When something happens, we want something else to happen. So when something happens, we want that to trigger something else. So we're going to add a new event type. In this case, we want it so that when our image is clicked, so pointer click. And then here is we're going to add what we want to happen. So now we need to add the code for that. So if you haven't already, right click, create C sharp script. I already have mine over here. So we're going to take a look at that. The first step is adding this line number four. This is very important. It's something really small that you can miss, but then um, it will mess you up. It, make sure to import this UI library so that we can do this. First, you need to create the public image, and this is going to be essentially this image and now look here here we're creating another sprite and this is what we're going to set our thumbs up to because remember we're not creating another image we just want to change the sprite of this image and that's why when we create this public method so this method is saying when we tell it to image change we want the the sprite component of the image to be the new sprite. So again, we are not creating a new image, we are just changing the sprite component and the sprite is what we see. So that's why we're changing this to the new. So make sure to save this script. And then we're gonna come back over here and we need to assign the script. So I'm gonna assign the script to our image itself. You can do that by just dragging it over. So I'm gonna drop it there. And our old image is just gonna be this itself so i'm just going to click this game object and drag it into itself and then the new image is going to be the sprite that we want so i'm going to drag our hand sprite now we have to still add the um, event trigger so we're going to click the plus sign and now what you want to do is you want to choose the object that the script is attached to so we just attached the script to our image so when i go to scene and i click image and then now I go into function, I see our change image script, and that's the component that we just added, and then here's the image change method. This all is very similar to a button. Now I can just click play, and once I click the heart, it's going to turn right into that thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've learned something that you can implement into your own project.